Hello there, and welcome to a solo recording for once. Uh, I got this game a while ago. I think it was off, uh... I can't remember. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to play it for yourself. But, uh, I got this ages ago, when I was just collecting a couple of horror games. And, uh, I never played it, because <laughs> I just started playing with groups and all that. But, since I don't really have much uh, in the background, I'll be playing this one instead. I don't know if the music is too overpowering, because there's no way to change it. <laughs> so I'm gonna hope it's not this loud in-game. Uh, but this is Hypno's Lullaby. Not the uh, Pokemon ROM hack, or the FNF mod, like its own standalone game. I think it was made for a mod jam. I could, not mod jam, a game jam. I could be completely wrong though, because I, like I said, it's been a while. And you know, if it's of decent quality, well, I, you can't see it, but I'm hovering my mouse over the uh, another game in the corner behind the character. But, let's begin. Shift. Oh man, where could he be at? Pressing on this thing. It's really dark up ahead. I might need some light. Oh, I need a goddamn flashlight. Hello. Disturbing reports emerge of vanished children in the ominous forest where an eerie, unidentifiable, unidentifiable melody haunts the shadowy depths. Heartbroken families grapple with the harrowing disappearance of their loved ones, fearing an enig enigmatic creature more sinister than any Pokemon. Witness, wit witnesses whisper about a looming spectral figure cloaked in sinister yellow trailed by the children moving with unnatural, trance-like motions, seemingly entranced. Stay tuned for further developments. What malevolent, malevolent Pokemon lurks in the darkness? Ooh. I think that's just, oh fuck. Oh, Jesus, I, th I think that's just the car. Well, that was Hypno, and that was the... <laughs> that caught me. As much as it caught me off guard, that was the fucking FNF or Friday Night Funkin' like, mod. <laughs> what the hell was that? Like, mod jump scare. What the fuck? Shopkeeper. Oh, it's you. I see you've come here to search for your son. Yes, I've spotted him. He ventured into the forest on the right. I also heard some distant singing along that path. It was quite eerie. I'll let you continue on your... Oh wait, that's the shopkeeper? <laughs> I'll let you continue on your way now. It's a good thing you have that flashlight with you. Bad things can happen in the dark. Oh, it's a Pokemon fucking building. Okay. You got no feet there, fella. You're floating, I can't tell. Does he say... Fucking, I get jump scared by the tile. <laughs> Flinching. That's just all right. Oh, hell no. Hey! Fucking... It's a fucking... Body bag having a fucking boogie, mate. Hypno is a clever and charismatic. Oh, I thought it'd be like Pokemon. Hypno is clever and charismatic. He's able to manipulate children into trusting him and murders them mercilessly after kidnapping them and revealing his true goals. However, Hypno could easily be captured, imprisoned, or killed by many other Pokemon if his pendulum was ever taken away, releasing the children and other Pokemon from his control. This earns him a 7.7 .7 on the dangerous level. Oh, fuck me. In the bitch shopkeep. He 
That was a fucking SCP. Well, nine six. Lifeless bodies emerge in his wake, brought forth by the eerie melody of his l lullaby. He is no mere Pokemon. He is a ravenous, monstrous entity lurking within the abyss. I've placed a warning sign by the forsaken path, a grim testament to the inescapable fate that awaits those who went venture forth. If I were in your shoes, I'd abandon all hope of finding your child and flee this cursed place. Your very existence hangs in the balance. Do you truly cherish life? Or shall you depart and pursue a purpose more meaningful than this futile quest? Can I fucking leave? Can I fucking leave? I get it from like a single, single uh, father. I could just leave. Fuck it. As a wise man once said, what's 18 more years? Can I talk to you again? No. You got a big ass hitbox apparently. Oh. Oh. Who's a fucking lie then? Why is he here in the other path. Well, no time like the present. My thoughts are in disarray. A haunting melody still echoing relentlessly within my mind. The lullaby's sinister grasp tightens, demanding his presence, beckoning him to seek me out. Fear no longer courses through my veins. It has abandoned me entirely. I must navigate the dark, find that ominous cavern where he patiently awaits my arrival. In this eerie realm, isolation is no longer my companion. I have been transformed, merged with something beyond myself, a creature of the shadows. Hmm, fuck off. Have I been turned around? So fucked up. It's a fucked up hit now. Chief, I cannot lie. It's a fucked up hit now. What the fuck was that? I'll tell you for certain, that weren't no hit now. That was a. What's this fucking sleeps for? What was the sound? Well, guess I'm running. Don't know if he can keep up with me or if I'm gonna get away in time, but. Well, well I guess that's a Hypno's Lullaby. <laughs> I mean, it was all right. It built atmosphere, but it kind of reminds me of those old games, like, I don't know, it's kind of slender based. Or it was slender based in one way or another. I don't know, I'm just fucking. Huh. Right, I've closed it. I'll put some other music in the background because it's just too loud. <laughs> you know, it was short, it was sweet, it got the point across. It's a hypno uh, based game. Uh, if you're familiar with Hypnos All the By, then. That's fine, you probably understand what the basis of what this is going for is. It does kind of lean into the, <laughs> the, <laughs> I hate to say, it, the Friday Night Funkin' mod. <laughs> with how, like, the Pokemon Center is, kind of similar to that, because it had the Pokemon Center and then the Chain Link Fence, and then you, you couldn't go in there, because obviously you, you fucking stand around and sing it. But it kind of was like that, and then there was, of course, the jump scare, which, oh, well, the first jump scare with, like, the red screen and Hypno Face. That was from FNF as well. And then the shopkeeper, also from Friday Night Funkin', didn't look the same, but there was obviously uh, 
you know some correlation because obviously why wouldn't he be, why would he be called a shopkeeper if not for, <laughs> for the purpose of looking like the shopkeeper guy i don't know if you could outrun a hypno if shifting would let you sprint or if i was missing missing the key and you could have gone faster and you could get to your car and you could leave the model itself uh, i didn't really get a good glimpse of it when it was running out of the cave at me i did appreciate not being screeched at by like a big ass commotion but it was all right there wasn't much shading on it or like changing in texture so you, you kind of get jump scared by a big <laughs> yellow blob if it's the first game or they made it in a short amount of time pretty decent could have you know kind of leaned into the more hypnose sort of thing where it does have like a melody or something or you know obviously they've gone for the simple oh my son's been abducted by hypno you know basic that kind of thing which you know fair enough it's a decent enough reason for the protag to be going after his son they could have maybe added more maybe say that the guy was a uh, a former victim of hypno or a hypno since there's multiple pokemon it could have been a different hypno or something or could have come into contact with a psychic type pokemon when he was younger and then obviously there's the whole the whole sheet of paper that was like you know you could kill capture or do this out of the other if you take hypno's thing away and it's like look just get yourself a fucking dark type you'd be fine then fucking sucker punch he's done out but otherwise short sweet simple to the point there was that other game which you may look into at some point if i'm at a loose end like i am now but otherwise i've been vincent schoolman and i'll see you next time hopefully